Hey guys, Mackie here from becomingbest.com and in this episode I just want to talk about the idea of playing the long game, which I think is a really important idea for people to think about whether they're trying to become the best at something or whether they're trying to run a business or whatever it is they're trying to do. So just want to talk about some of my experiences with this in business as well as how I'm thinking about this with Melee and trying to move forward with that. So playing the long game means doing things today and making sacrifices today in order to get where you want to go in the future. So three, five years down the track, maybe even longer. And so often people are so focused on you know the next month or the next payday or those sorts of things that they make decisions today that will help them today but won't set them up for the long run. And this has been so true in business with people's businesses. Me and my best mate, uh, well, one of my best friends started businesses about the same time. And I was making about 500 to $1,000 per month in my business. Now, that may sound fine if you live at home with your parents, you know, a thousand bucks a month is great, but I was married with two children. And so I have to pay my own rent and have to pay for nappies and all of that sort of stuff because my wife wasn't working. And so that's not a lot of money. But even then, which was about three and a half years ago or four years ago, I was always looking about three years into the future and projecting where do I want my business to be three years into the future and what do I need to do today get to get there. And three years into the future, I saw a business that mostly ran by itself that got a lot of passive website traffic and a lot of passive income from that. And so over time, I wouldn't have to work as hard and would continue to make money. And then friends of mine, you know, they were making more money today. They were doing things that were making them money today. And they were making a lot more money than me and their business was doing better and we were working similar hours or I was even working longer hours than them and making still 500 to to $1,000 per month. And if I look at my profit and losses for that first year, it's terrible. And then the second year, it's still pretty terrible. But now I'm at the point four years down the track where I achieved what I set out to achieve and the work that I put in has caused me to have this business now where I do get passive traffic and I do make fairly passive income from the business enough to get by and I hardly have to work to keep that going. You know, I do a few hours a week that I need to do for my business, but obviously I want to continue to grow it and keep it going forward. But the same is now happening for becoming best and for pursuing Melee. So I'm looking three to five years in the future as to where do I want to be. I want to be one of the top 100 in the world. I want to have learnt a lot about psychology, about becoming good at something that I can then hopefully apply to other things as well. So I'm looking at the future and I'm making decisions that are costing me now they're costing me time they're costing me money they're costing me progress in terms of melee so let's just look at the business side of things right i have a business now that makes fairly good money and i don't have to work a lot but in three to five years if i don't work a lot for the next three to five years that won't still be the case okay that money will slow down that money will dwindle partnerships or like business relationships that i have may fall apart you never know and so it may still be fine in that time but chances are that it's going to decline over that time as I don't work on it. So that's the case. I could make decisions to continue working harder today and not pursuing becoming the best at a video game. And I could focus on you know, keeping my business afloat, making more money, reinvesting that money to generate more passive income through things that are more secure like properties and things like that. But I could, yeah, be working in business and building that up. And I talked about that in a previous video, but looking forward for the next three to five years as to where I want to be and then even further in life and the academic things that I want to pursue, um, I am making decisions now that are sacrifices, but each decision that I make is actually a decision that has a payoff three years in the future. So... For example, the way I practice my wave dashes and the way that I'm such a perfectionist, getting them to a really good point is a waste of time now because you have diminishing rate of returns. I could just get them to you know 70% adequate and then move on to something else and I'll progress faster as a player. But I'm looking three years into the future to say, well, three years anyway, I need to 
be perfect at executing these. And if I do it half ass now, then I'm going to have to learn it in the future and I'll have muscle memory that I'll have to unlearn. So it's going to be harder. And so I'm actively making decisions now that are going to pay off for me in the future, but that don't pay off for me today. And I feel like a lot of people don't do that. They're so focused on the now, they're so focused on progressing now uh, that they're not playing that long game. And so I know that long game and having that patience and just having that view of three years in the future has been so big for me in business and paid off for me drastically. Whereas I have a business that earns me good money. Going back to the example of my friend, I now earn more money than my friend did and I work less. He's now earning similar money to what he was originally earning, maybe slightly more, but he works way too much, is completely burnt out from his business and is even considering like getting rid of that business and just going back to work for someone else because it's so much work, uh, not getting paid enough and just feeling burnt out overall. Um, you know, two different situations. So I was really strategic at the very start. Where exactly do I want my business to be in three to five years? Let's make decisions. Let's make sacrifices. Let's only do the activities that are going to get us there to where we want to be in three to five years. Whereas on the contrast, you know, maybe my friend didn't make those decisions and was too focused on building up the business now, getting that income coming in, building that stable income for himself and his family. Um, yeah, it's a noble thing to do, but yeah, I think having that patience and looking for the long run is super important. And so I just want to encourage anyone that's listening to this today to think about the long game. Think about three to five years time. I like three years time. That's kind of the that's kind of where I can think, okay, in three years time, I can think that far ahead. I struggle with five years. I really struggle with 10 years, but three years... I can do fine. And I think as I get older, it gets easier to like look further and further ahead for some reason. But yeah, think where you want to be in three years and what decisions today are going to pay off for you in three years time. So don't just think about next week. Don't just think about next month. Focus on that point in the future and make all your decisions for that point in the future. Now, obviously, you've got to pay bills. Um, you've got to compete in tournaments and you want to do well and things like that. And while that is still important and while you try and prepare and do the best for that, it's not as important as the future. It's not as important as the long term. And so, um, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll leave it at that. I was just encouraged watching Gary V talking about that and thought about how I have applied that in my life and thought that if anyone is listening to this and wanting to become the best and they're following my journey, uh, then they could learn something from that. So hopefully that's been helpful to you. Man, it is hot in here. I've moved up to Noosa, which is in Queensland, Australia, north of Brisbane. Um, and it's like the start of spring and it is so hot. I need to, I need to open some windows. Oh. But yeah. All right, guys, that's it from me today. Until next time, go out there and do what it takes to become the best in the future. Not what it takes to become the best tomorrow or next week, not in the short term, but look into the future and do what it takes to become the best.